In today's Money Monday, putting cash aside is something we all know we should do, but getting started can be overwhelming. So joining us for some tips is Lisa Florian, Senior Vice President, Digital Strategy and Marketing for Clearview Federal Credit Union. And this is, first off, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. And, and secondly, this is really about going back to basics. And sometimes it's just the small stuff that can make a difference, right? Absolutely, it's the small stuff. I mean, you, you can start with, I have a lot of uh, co-workers that buy coffee every mm -hmm. day on their way to work. And if they would just make a few pots of coffee at home and fill up their little carafe on the way in, perhaps that they would be able to, you know, take a little bit more money, right? And, and put it in their piggy bank. We right? have to talk about your PTL coins. You like them? Because these crack me up. <laughs> like, clearly these are not, you know, we can't actually use these coins. No. Uh, but yeah, they, can you show the, what, who's on the front I, of these I, coins I, I sure here? can. I sure can. So, Look at these lovely faces this morning, right? It's okay. Heather and me. <laughs> they actually made coins with this. They did. Yes, they did. Which is great fun, but it's a great visual prop for us. It sure is. Yeah. So talk to me about, you sort of have three main points. What's I the do. second? Well, I mean, the second point is, and, and again, people aren't using cash as much these days right. so you know I, I joke here and I put the coin in the bank but really you know when you're using your debit card and you have money left over at the end of the week you want to sweep that into a savings account if you possibly can because then you're taking the extra money that you have and you're setting it aside for things that you would have you know normally spent it on during the week and it can really add up and maybe great. you'll get a little bit of interest in that yes, savings account absolutely and interest rates are up we'll and put so, that in the bank right okay put it in there and let me ask you about this I mean this sure. is a visual prop it is. but for some some people, I mean, obviously it's it's smart to, to set aside like an automatic withdrawal into a checking yes. account. But in addition to that, does it help to have like a piggy bank at home or is that silly? Well, honestly, I don't think it's silly. It starts at a young age, you know what right. I mean? And then a lot of people are visual and they're also physical. So you want to see it, you want to be able to touch it. So maybe the piggy bank is, is representative and it reminds yes. you actually to look at, you know, at your actual savings account. but. You know, even at Clearview, whenever you have a savings account, you can have sub accounts and you can label them whatever you would like. So maybe one is for your vacation fund or your yeah. holiday fund or in my case, which I should have started a very long time ago. I have a son who's going to college this year and I should have started saving for him a long time ago. A long time ago. It would be ago. a lot better just yeah. to put a few dollars away. So those definitely help you to segment that from mm -hmm. your overall savings, which is great. And visualize it and it's sort of a reminder. Yeah, it's yes. a great idea. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about paying things off mm -hmm. because some people may automatically say I need to pay off whatever has the highest interest rate because that's costing me the most. I'm paying the most out for that. Mm -hmm. But you say that may not always be the right strategy, right? It, it may not. Um, that's called the avalanche method whenever you go in and you want to tackle your highest interest rate debt first, which makes sense because then you're going to save more money in the long run because you are right. saving off of the highest interest. But it could also be your largest balance. So you have to do what works right for you. There's also the snowball method. You might have a maybe a small department store charge and maybe there's a few hundred dollars on it, but it makes you feel really good if you pay that off. Right. So when you pay that off, then you take the money that you're, you know, paying on that bill and then you put it on to the next. It sounds simple. It can be difficult for people. It's all psychological and you have to be really disciplined in order to get it done. But you're right. Psychology wise, that can give you a real boost. Just feeling as though, hey, I got one paid off. Right, I did. Yeah, you're moving forward. And that's when we take your head and we put it in the <laughs> right? Lisa, We're that's the fun. I, I love these coins. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for talking with us and really hopefully inspiring people out there just to go ahead and do it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Well, for more simple saving tips, go to our website. We have a link for you right there. And remember, you can catch Money Monday every month right here on PTL.